Okay, kindergartners, today we are putting our penguin project all together. So the first thing I'm going to do is take this torn piece of paper and I'm going to put glue all over it. And this is going to be the snow at the bottom of my picture. So I'm making sure that this piece is going all the way down at the bottom. I don't want to have a space there or it's going to look really funny. So I'm putting this piece down. Fits perfectly side to side. And now I'm ready to cut my little penguins out. So the easiest way to do this is to fold it in half so you can see your paint. And I am going to trim around the edge, cutting both sides at the same time to get my symmetrical penguin. Same thing with the other one. I folded it in half long and skinny cutting right on that black line. This one is a little bit smaller. That's okay. They can be different sizes. I am going to glue those penguins down, making sure that they are sitting on the snow. You don't want to have them floating up in the sky like that. They're sitting right there on the snow. At your tables, you have some scraps. I am going to start with the orange scraps. And I'm going to make some diagonal cuts up and down. And all of these little triangles are going to help me make feet and noses. So I'm going to put some dots of glue on my penguins. And I'm going to put a triangle right on them. And then I am going to put some going sideways for the feet. So two little dots on my paper gives my penguin some feet. Mrs. Cleary will be passing out some sticker eyes. Easy way to put some eyes on your penguin. And many of you are going to have some time left to make your penguins have some hats and mittens and scarves. So scrap papers are at your table. I'm going to cut a long skinny rectangle. And there's a nice scarf for that guy. I might cut a triangle. Mm, that's a tiny triangle. Maybe that should go on a smaller one. You can have all different colors, all different shapes. So maybe this bigger penguin is going to have a rectangle hat. I could make it into a top hat for him. Another little rectangle down there. If you want your penguins to have mittens, well, I'm going to do this fast. Check out this trick. I'm going to take this blue paper and fold it in half. And I'm going to cut out two half circles at the same time. Now my guy has some little mittens. Once you have those things cut out, you definitely want to glue them down. And you can use the markers at your table to make some fun patterns on them. Maybe his scarf has a zigzag line. And some polka dots. When you are all finished with your penguins, and it is your very, very best work, and they have eyes and noses and feet and scarves and mittens, you can put it in the drying rack.